Believe it or not, this is my garden too. We had so much wet weather that every time I planted, the rain would wash away my seeds. So I had some of these rows where nothing was really growing or the rain had washed away my seed. And it just wasn't doing very well. So I took the shovel and turned over the, the row and I actually covered it in dried grass. And then I went to the store and got a bunch of cardboard and covered the row so the worms could get in there and work because it was actually still a lot of clay. Even though we kind of tilled it, we didn't have a lot of the amendments that you could, you know, use to work in it. But even if you're poor, you can get stuff like dried grass. I raked up the neighbor's grass, kind of give me some nitrogen in the soil. Come put it on my garden. They didn't care. They were glad to get it raked. I didn't charge them anything. Um, I put it in the pathways, all the cardboard. And I put it over the rows that, you know, that didn't make any garden. So that hopefully in the fall, it'll be ready to go. If not, if I don't plant fall, I'll just uh, wait till next year. But by then, I should have a dandy garden spot. And hopefully just right around, right around the rain. Uh, you never know what the rain's going to do. Um, I try to plant things inside or early if I can and transplant them. My transplants have done better than anything. Uh, my cucumbers here, they were transplants. My tomatoes, in another video, they were transplants. Uh, then you don't have to worry about the seed washing out. That's the garden. I have some cantaloupes over here. I planted them at the end of the rows, in each row. And then I use the uh, cardboard sheeting going out from there to cover the grass and that's going to also make good soil. There are worms under there making good soil for me. I've got a uh, nice watermelon. This to go across here. Nice watermelon on this other side at the end of the rows and cardboard sheeting coming out from them. Worms under there doing their business. Uh, they're starting to branch out. No melons on any of it yet, but I'm hopeful. Anyway, it's a start. I've got some leaf lettuce. Actually, there's kind of some grass growing in here, but here's some leaf lettuce. You just kind of pick the outsides and leave the insides growing, and they'll, you know, you can make some salad. Oh, every other day or so, pick enough for a salad. Uh, this is a butter crunch lettuce. Tasty. Very good for you. I had some spinach, but I planted it too late, and it all dried up. And I love spinach. You got to start it early when it's still cool. Anyway, I thought you might like to see more of the uh, cardboard sheeting. I could do the lasagna gardening where you've got all kinds of stuff on top of it. I've got a friend supposed to bring me some manure sometime today. Uh, you can uh, layer your cardboard and uh, put other things on top of it. Uh, go to lasagna gardening to see more on that. Or cardboard sheeting, or just sheeting. I've been learning from YouTube too. <laughs> we can all learn every day. There's Lucy in the picture. She likes to come out and garden with me. Too bad she doesn't have hands. I put her to work. Hey, Lucy. Hello. All right, this is Sue. Okie dokie, gardener gal. Signing off. Subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Goodbye.